Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I'm going to talk about supplements and vitamins, things that you ingest that are supposed to do something for your body. This topic came up on Instagram right before the holidays. I did a Q&A, said ask me anything, and a lot of people asked me about the supplements that I take. And I have mentioned these before in my What I Eat in a Day videos, and so if you watch those, you have an inkling of kind of what I take and why I take it. But people wanted a little bit more in-depth information Plus, I have expanded uh, what I take so that now I actually have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh my God, nine supplements that I take a day. I've actually just added two, so it was seven before this. I got one for Christmas from my dad, so I have to start taking that one because he told me to. And then I just picked up a collagen supplement because they are all the buzz right now and a lot of the questions that I get lately from people are like, have you tried a collagen supplement? What do you think of them? So let's talk about supplements today. I am afraid that this is going to be kind of a polarizing video or a controversial video because as you know, supplements are kind of an unregulated industry. It is a multi-billion dollar industry, but it is kind of an unknown. It's kind of a black hole. Like there are some studies to suggest that some of the things that I take work. And then a lot of it is like, who the heck knows? But I take these anyway in the hope that they do work. Anyway, so I am happy to do this video to show you what I take. I am not suggesting though that everybody take what I take, that they're right for you, that they're gonna work, that they're gonna do anything, you know, I don't know. So I'm putting this out there with the kind of caveat that I'm not coming at this as an expert. You guys know that I do like to do a lot of research into the things that I um, put on for my skincare and everything, but I have to admit I don't really do that kind of research into the supplements. I mean, I'll do a little bit to start to like kind of help me to choose which one to use, but in the end, what I generally do is I figure out what supplement I want to use, and then I go to Costco and I buy what they have there, <laughs> or I go to Whole Foods and I see what they have there. Most of the supplements that I do use, though, there is some science behind them. There are some studies that say that they work, you know, and so hopefully they do. I really didn't take any vitamins or supplements when I was younger. I started taking a supplement when I became pregnant with my first child because my gynecologist had said, you need folic acid, you need iron, you need this, you need that. And so I started taking a supplement to provide those things. That I started with just a simple like one a day women's. And when I turned 50, I switched that over to one a day women's over 50. So I take this 50 plus one a day women's. I've been taking these for years and these are supposed to provide you with, you know, your basic RDA of everything you need. Now I do eat a pretty healthy diet. So I feel like I get a lot of my vitamins and nutrients from the food that I eat. And for me, that really is the best way to get them. But I just want to make sure that I'm all balanced out because while I do eat a healthy diet, I am kind of picky. I don't eat a lot of red meat. I do wear sunscreen every day and wearing sunscreen, you have to be concerned about your vitamin D levels. So a lot of people say like, you can only get vitamin D from the sun. It's not the case. You can get vitamin D from your diet as well as from a supplement like this. I actually get plenty of vitamin D even though I wear sunscreen and um, I do have my vitamin D checked yearly to make sure that it is at the right levels. Then the second supplement I added in was for my joints because when I turned 40, um, I noticed that my knees started like making a little bit of noise and started being like a little bit sore when the weather was, you know, cold or rainy or whatever. So I added in a glucosamine chondroitin supplement. So the one I end up getting mostly is the Schiff Move Free Advanced. You take two of these a day. So I do split them up one in the morning, one at night. It's been 16 years now that I've been taking this and my joints aren't any worse. Can I attribute it to this? I don't know, but maybe yeah. So anyway, I'm kind of a walking, talking like, yeah, it's worked for me. I've aged 16 years, my joints have aged 16 years, but they feel, I'd say they feel better than they did back then. All right, then the third thing I started taking was um, also by Schiff. This is their Mega Red uh, fish oil. This one is actually krill oil. Because I have hereditary high cholesterol, I wanted to take a fish oil supplement to bring my cholesterol down. I also eat a super healthy diet for my cholesterol. You're supposed to take one of these a day, so I do take one of these a day. I'm taking it at night now because I've added in you get another fish oil supplement in the morning. Um, but this gives you 225 milligrams of 
omega-3 fatty acids. And it contains shellfish. So if you're allergic to shellfish, definitely don't take this one. Then the next thing that I added was a phytoceramide supplement. Uh, phytoceramides are plant-based ceramides and studies have shown that if you ingest these plant-based ceramides that they can increase the moisture levels in your skin. I first started taking these because Dr. Oz did a story on phytoceramides and he said it was like a facelift in a jar. And so of course people wrote in and were like, can you check this out? So I started taking phytoceramides and while I didn't feel like it actually made my face look any different after 30 days, when I took them over the winter, I could definitely feel a difference in my skin. Like I live here in New England where it is 0% humidity in the air for the entire winter and your skin gets so dry and you're like so itchy and you just want to like rub yourself on a, a tree like a bear in the woods. Um, but after I started taking these, I was like, oh my gosh, I had the first comfortable winter I had ever had in my own skin. So I was like, hey, these things are good. I think they actually do work to hydrate you kind of from the inside out. This is a wheat-based one. So if you're gluten um, sensitive or you know have celiacs or something, you really shouldn't take these. This has 300 milligrams of wheat-based phytoceramides. There are rice-based phytoceramides. I take one of those a day. All right, then the next thing that I added in was this grape seed and resveratrol supplement. Um, I don't know if you guys had seen the 60 Minutes report on resveratrol, but it's supposed to be very good for anti-aging. And so I was like, all right, I'll take that because I really can't drink that much red wine to get as much resveratrol as I would want in my diet. So I started taking a supplement. It's True Nature Grape Seed and Resveratrol. And you know what's interesting about this? I was I had no expectations that it was going to do anything for my heart health or for my cholesterol. And it's weird because this was the only thing that I had changed in my diet or in my exercise routine. And when I started taking these, like I had my blood work done about three months after I started these, my cholesterol came down even more. And I was like, whoa. And I had the lowest cholesterol level check that I've had in a long, long time. So, you know, am I saying, oh my God, this will lower your cholesterol? I am not. But that's kind of, I was like, huh, what did I change? And this was the only thing that I could point to. So now I have four new things that I started taking probably in the past year. One of them is CoQ10. It's an antioxidant. And I think that antioxidants are really great for us. I think that antioxidants work in your skincare. I also think that they can work internally as a supplement. Do I know that they can? Not really. This is also cardiologist recommended. So I think this is also good for your heart. So it's a double bonus for me. I'm taking it more for antioxidant action in my skin. So that's why I take that one. I know, real sciencey stuff here. When I went to see my eye doctor this year, I have been having problems with dry eye. And not only did she recommend me the best eye drops called Retain, but she told me that I should up my fish oil intake. And I guess there was a study done that showed that people with dry eye taking higher levels of fish oil kind of relieves some of the symptoms. So, so then I added in another fish oil supplement. And I already had this one in my cabinet because this is a fish oil that I give my dog. Um, also buy this at Costco. This is the Pure Alaska Omega. Omega-3 Wild Alaskan Salmon Oil, 1,000 milligrams per. So my dog has food allergies and her skin is always a mess and she's always got all these infections. And so I try to help her with her dry, you know, itchy skin by giving her fish oil. So these are her fish oil pills, but I was like, you know, what the heck, I'll take them too. So now I take one of these a day in addition to one of my reg mega reds a day. My dog takes two of these a day, one in the morning, one at night. I just take one in the morning and I take my mega red at night. So then another supplement for my eyes that I just started taking, this is the one that my dad gave me for Christmas and this is called Preservision. It's made by Bausch and Lomb and so this is really for people with a family history or with macular degeneration and you know I don't have macular degeneration but apparently my uncle has it and my father has it and my mother has it so I definitely have a family history of it. It's supposed to reduce the risk and reduce the progression if you do have it. So my dad gave us all all these for Christmas this year. You take two a days, two a day of these. So I've started taking this. This is very specific to you know a genetic eye problem. So clearly 
if you don't have that, you wouldn't take this. But if you don't know about that with macular degeneration, apparently there were some good studies on this um, AREDS 2. My dad has a good friend who's an eye doctor, and he recommended this based on his reading of the studies. He thought it was the only thing that really worked. So anyway, taking that now too. And then something that I just added yesterday, and I've only taken once, and this is because so many of you guys asked me about them that I just wanted to try it. It is a collagen supplement. I got interested in these because, of course, collagen with anti-aging. We're all interested in collagen, and I have been looking for information on whether or not collagen supplements can work. And, of course, you know, in reading all the literature that's out there, there are a lot of studies done in mice and done in, like, you know, other animals that suggest that collagen supplements can work. In human trials, it looks like they actually might work. Some work better than others. But then a lot of the experts that I read, they just say, nope, it can't survive your stomach enzymes. It's just digested and, you know, passed out of your body. But then I was watching Dr. Dre the other day. Do you guys watch Dr. Dre? She did a whole episode just on collagen supplements, and she read all of the literature on them. And while at the end of the video she was like, so based on the literature, I think they're a waste of money, I was like, wait, based on what you just said, they look so worth doing. So she convinced me to take them, even though she was trying to convince me not to take them. So I was at Whole Foods yesterday, and so I grabbed one. Um, I don't know if it's any good. I can't say. I don't, you know, there's all, collagen is derived from different sources. One of the things she had said, one of the research things with that collagen derived from pigs showed to be a little bit better in one of the studies than fish collagen, but I couldn't find any pig collagen at Whole Foods. They only had cow or fish. So this is Vital Proteins Marine Collagen. It has 12 grams of collagen per serving. It's wild caught fish, non-GMO. This is an unflavored one. I mean, a lot of things at Whole Foods were like creamers that you would stir in. They are, they had sugar in them or they had flavorings like berry flavored or chocolate. You know, I just, I don't like things that add a lot of extra calories or that add a lot of extra sodium or sugars. Um, a lot of them had kind of a lot of sodium in them, I thought. So I got the one with the smallest amount of calories with the smallest amount of sodium, just with like the not much in it except for the collagen. So this one is made from snapper scales. Appetizing, right? It only has uh, 45 calories per servings, which is two scoops. But in the instructions, it says you can use one or two scoops. So yesterday I put one scoop in my afternoon tea. It dissolved completely. I couldn't taste it. I couldn't even tell it was in there. So I was like, yeah, okay, I could use this. But this stuff is expensive. Um, this was $45 for this. Only about 18 servings per container if you use two scoops. So I figure I'll use one scoop and it'll last me just a little over a month. And I'm hoping that at the end of the month, I'll either see a difference in my skin or not. I mean, I've taken collagen supplements before. For a month, I took one from Neocell and um, I didn't notice any difference in my skin. So um, I'm hoping to see a difference in my skin with this. I don't know if I'm gonna repurchase it. I don't know if I'm gonna continue with the collagen supplement, but I thought I would give one a try. One supplement that I don't take is biotin, and we had talked about that in the Instagram story. It is for growing your hair and nails. And what I find with biotin, because I did try it once a few years ago, I took it for 30 days, and um, yes, wow, my hair really did grow longer, faster, and my nails grew a lot longer, a lot faster. But unfortunately, all it means that is that I have to get my manicure and get my roots colored much much more often. It didn't make my hair or my nails any stronger and it didn't make them any thicker it just made them come out faster. So I was like oh I have to redo my roots already. So those are all my supplements that's everything I take. Um, just wanted to tell you one funny little story that uh, last time I went into my doctor's office for like my general physical you know they have you fill out all the medications that you take and it says include your supplements. So I wrote down all my supplements and so then the nurse comes in she picks up the chart she looks at it she looks at me she looks at the chart she looks at me again she goes you were born in 62 I'm like yeah I'm 56 and she goes wow you look great so you know of course that was great I'm like oh thank you um, and I'm thinking she's gonna ask me what do I use on my face or you know do I do Botox or whatever no she goes let me look at your supplements she goes oh I'm gonna start taking all this stuff you mind if I photocopy this and I was like 
Okay, that's interesting, because here was like a person in the medical field who instead of asking, you know, what do you put on your face, which is what most people usually want to know, she was like, what do you put in your body? So that's it for today's video, everybody. I hope you found it helpful and a little bit informative. Uh, so if you did, give the video a like, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for your time and really appreciate your watching. So have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.